But Panama, in my view, is very important in another respect. It's the transparency. If you look mid-long term, it becomes clearer and clearer that it's increasingly mm. difficult to hide illicit flows. Uh, most of the revelations in anti-corruption over the past few years were due to so-called leaks. Uh, WikiLeaks, uh, then <coughs> there was the um, issue of stolen CDs in uh, Europe, now Panama Papers. The fact that all these accounts are held in um, electronic form and that they are extremely uh, easy to communicate, <coughs> to transport, to uh, also to leak to the public, will fundamentally change the approach uh, to uh, corruption. And it will also add, hopefully, to a strengthening of the prevention of corruption. And that is certainly <coughs> something uh, that um, is a lesson for a country like Switzerland that over the years has developed quite a few policies how to restitute stolen funds. But we certainly have come to the conclusion that if you have to restitute, it means that things have gone wrong. Uh, it, it's like the fire workers who say, look, okay, there was a fire, we have to do something about it. But we all agree probably that in the end it's much better to prevent the fire in the first place from happening. And that is the issue of prevention. And probably the strongest tools to prevent corruption is or are transparency and the rule of law. Good leadership, but most important is the rule of law and transparency. One of the elements that adds to it is a thriving um, civil society, which will then also add to transparency, but these are the most important tools. But if um, we now come to the criminal, uh, the, the uh, law enforcement setup, what can be done to then really cope with cases? And I would here then clearly speak from a perspective of a financial center, is that you have to strengthen your legal framework. You have to have very clear, you know, your customer rules uh, about beneficial ownership, not only of accounts and the origin of funds, but also in the future about the um, uh, beneficial ownership of companies because we have come to see over the past few years that uh, some countries still have very intransparent company laws. Once it's reported to the Financial Intelligence Unit, you then need to investigate and prosecute uh, the, the crimes. And that is an area that in our um, uh, experience still a lot of things need to be done in many countries. And we're back to the uh, first element that I mentioned, Prevention. Prevention means governance, it means separation of power, and it means very efficient and professional law enforcement authorities. But we come back to that a bit further down uh, the, the chain, so to speak, once we're at the law enforcement stage, when you have to investigate and prosecute these crimes. You need very competent uh, prosecute, investigators and prosecutors. And most of the time, and this I say from the perspective of a, uh, of a financial centre, it's very difficult for us to understand what exactly happened in the other country. Because we can prosecute people for money laundering, but in order to do that, you have the crime to be committed within the Swiss jurisdiction, which means Switzerland. And in most cases, the predicate offence has been committed in another jurisdiction. And therefore, you have to be able to rely on very uh, competent uh, prosecuting authorities. And I come to a, a, a phenomenon which is not well understood, I think, in the political debate, but which is absolutely crucial, and that is judicial cooperation, mutual legal assistance. Because to allow us, as a financial center, to prosecute cases, we must be able to rely on our co cooperation with the originating country, with the country where the, the corrupt practice took place. Because if we cannot rely on, be it uh, testimony or, or any kind of proof, we will lose the case. And that is something, uh, mutual legal assistant has, uh, assistance has become a very important tool over the years. And still today, it is not a very efficient tool. 
Uh, mutual legal assistance <coughs> is very heavy, procedurally speaking. Um, you, it takes a lot of time to understand the other system because each country has its own mutual legal assistance uh, system, legislation, etc. So it's a very complex area and I think that is an area that we all will have to work on because we must become more efficient. Mm -hmm.